Hey there guys, have you ever considered on making brand deals on your channel? Let me tell you guys, if you have an opportunity to make brand deals with a certain company, take it because it's gonna have wonders on your channel. Today, let's talk about the impacts on what brand deal does to your channel. But before we do guys, you know what to do. Like, subscribe, and gong that bell. Hey Freedom, my name is Nolan. Welcome to Freedom Central, the home of all Freedom content. Like I said a while ago, we will be talking about the impact on brand deals on your channel. And let me tell you guys, brand deals will open doors for your channel. So guys, if you have an opportunity to make brand deals with a certain company, take it. On today's episode, let's talk more about that. So without further ado guys, Freedom Quick Tips. So we all know that brands can do all sorts of magic for your channel, can potentially help you get more out of your channel and maybe even beyond it. You can get that celebrity feel when you do. Brands that have the same virtues and interests as you will see your channel as something they can partner with because you tackle the same crowd. Your relationship with your audience is tantamount to them because they know they can trust you. Trust can lead to purchases. Imagine if you have a ton of subscribers, there will be someone bound to make a purchase. You see it now, the more you build trust on your audiences, whether it be small or big, the higher the chances for you guys to make a business out of it for brand deals. Okay, now guys that the perspective is set, let's talk about the mutual benefits you get as a creator and for the brand. Number one benefit is you develop an additional source of revenue and gain access to product. Number two is products can spark new video ideas. Three is your audience can benefit from learning about new products and services. Sometimes you'll get early access and coupon codes to offer your fans. That means guys you can also giveaways or like those coupon codes you see on videos that they're kind of selling product. Number four, brand deals can help establish your channel as an influencer and open doors to career opportunities beyond YouTube. This is where I'm saying guys that you can be a celebrity online. Number five, brands benefit because they are able to reach a specific audience with their products and expand their target market. Meaning guys, you not just help yourself but also you help these people or the company widen their spectrum. So before we start creating branded content, let's get the term underway first. For videos that have brands, it's not just a video anymore. It is a branded kind of content. Branded content is usually paid for by a brand and features their products or services in some way. The next terminology is a brand deal. Brand deals is a partnership between creators and brands and sometimes referred to as a brand sponsorship. Another terminology is brand integration. Brand integration are a type of branded content where a creator finds a way to seamlessly feature products or services in their videos. The idea is to do something with a product in the video that makes sense and aligns with your own channel's brand. Alright guys, I know that some of you guys fear branded content and that's okay. We all have that fear because we may think we are not the right person for this and of course our audience will not like it. But it's not the case. Now even if you are a small content creator, when brands approach you, they believe in you and your content is what they want and your channel represents their company or their product or their brand. Partner with a brand you believe in and think your audience will like. Brands want to work with creators who believe in them and are a good fit. Be transparent with your audience. Consider asking them what they think about a potential brand partnership. Are there products or types of videos they've been asking you about? Remember, what you think your audience will benefit the most from may not always be what they want. If you're still not sure or afraid of branded content, look at other content creators and ask for insights about it. They will be more than happy to help you step out of your fear of branded content. And that's the episode guys, hope you guys liked it. And if you have other insights or tips for us on how to make a branded content, let us know down below. Of course, share this to a friend who wants to take the next level and take branded content on their channel. Maybe we can help them out by sharing this video. Also guys, before you leave, leave a like, subscribe, and gong that bell. We will be making another episode about branded content, so guys, stay tuned. My name is Nold, guys, bringing you tips on how to grow your channel. Always remember, freedom, quick tips. I'm gonna be seeing you guys on the next episode. Goodbye.